Hi and welcome to this print kiosk video tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at uh, InDesign templates hosted by Print Kiosk. Uh, if you don't know where that's to, it's www.printkiosk.co.uk. Uh, so let's crack straight on then. We'll uh, get straight on the website. So this is the main Print Kiosk website. Uh, and if you come along the top menu bar, or the second menu bar actually, artwork and templates, click there. That will open up the main artwork page. Now on here you have a lot of information regarding artwork and resolutions etc. But you can ignore all of that because all of that is taken care of automatically in the template. So if you come straight down to the bottom, templates, and click here. That will open up the main template page. Now on here you obviously have all your different formats, different sizes. You also have the video demonstrations which is what you're watching right now. Um, but for the purposes of this video, we'll just go to A5 templates and click on the InDesign logo. All of the templates work in the same fashion, so it doesn't matter what size you're actually using, etc. The principles are the same throughout. Once you've clicked on that, you'll be, you'll be faced with this dialog box, which will say, what do you want to do? Um, do you want to open it or save it? Well, it's critical that you save it. Okay, so you do not want to open it, you want to save it. So click on the save. That will bring up a new dialog box asking you where you'd like to save it and whether you'd like what you'd like to call it in fact. So again, for the purposes of this video, we'll click on desktop and we'll leave the default name in there. You can obviously change that to whatever you wish and you can change the destination folder to whatever you want but for this video we'll leave it as default and click save once you've done that it'll let you know that it's saved you've got the option to open or close it if you just click close and then close the website or minimize the website depending on whether you've got more work to do on the website so just get rid of that and then on your desktop or wherever you've saved it to you will find your little icon there of the template double click on that one and that will open up the production template as you see here. Now, template is made up of several parts and we'll go through them very quickly just so you have an understanding. You have a red border and a gray border. So that's the red, that's the gray. The red indicates the bleed mark and the gray indicates the non-text area. The white area in the middle is your main design platform and is where you should be doing the bulk of your design work. Obviously we've got a bit of text here, here, here as well, sorry, here, that's uh, showing you what it is and for those people that have come straight to the template without watching this video, it just lets them know that this video actually exists. So once you're happy with that, if you just click on the direct select, that's the white arrow here on the left hand side, come over, click on the text, you'll see the little boxes light up and just press delete on your keyboard, that will get rid of that text, do the same on the next one down and that will get rid of that text so that's out of the way and now you really can just start designing really um, if we take uh, this box for instance and drop one in here there you go now the reason we use this bleed here just to give you an understanding of bleed is that bleed is designed for images that go off of the edge of the page so any image, line, or anything like that that goes off of the edge of the page needs to come to the outside of the bleed line. Okay, this is the trim marks here, and obviously that denotes where we're going to trim the page. So we're going to trim it right between the grey and the red down this line here. Um, and this is why bleed images need to come over that line, so that when we trim there, we will have a nice clean cut through the image with no white lines etc and you will get the finish that you require so please put your bleed images to the outside of the bleed mark the text area or non-text area actually is there to show you that you are becoming too close to the edge of the sheet with your text you can actually go over this area with text if you wish but it, it will be very close to the cut line and won't look aesthetically correct. So we just put this little grey mark here to show you that you're very close to the edge and no text should really come over there if you want it to look correct. Okay, now that you understand that a little better, let's put some text in. We'll drop some in there and just put uh, testing. 
Uh, we could also put another, oh, I don't know, let's just put a little circle down here like this. Doesn't matter if you come right over those lines, that's fine. As long as if it's bleeding off, it does actually meet the outside line. Okay, let's set, suggest that's our design. We're ready now, we'd like that. We want to go to press with that. All we need to do now before we save it is come back to our direct select here on the left, the white one, white arrow. Click on the red box and press delete on the keyboard. Click on the grey box and click delete on the keyboard. That now gets rid of both of those borders. Obviously you don't want to print those, those are just there for reference. Once you've got rid of both of those, don't worry if you see this blue line, that's just a reference line, it doesn't actually print, or any of these bounding boxes, they don't actually print, they're just there to show you a box exists. So once you're at this stage, you can now save the file, it's ready for print. So you go File, and on this one you go Adobe PDF Presets. That brings out another dialog box, you come down that one until you get to Press quality. That's obviously the quality we require to print on press. Click on that one. That brings up a new dialog box asking you where you want to save it. Again, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Um, the format is set correct as default, Adobe PDF. You've also got the name there. You can change that if you want to at this stage and you just click save. It's going to bring up a new dialog box saying basically just confirming your settings, press quality, all the rest leave as default, just make sure that one's on press quality, which it should be default by default, and then click export. That's it. Once you see those two little lines shoot up quickly there and shut down, you finish. You can now close that. It's asking you, do you want to save that in InDesign before you cut? Again, completely up to you. I'm going to actually click no, but if you wanted to save that just in case you want to work on it again, just click yes. So no, that shuts that down, and now on your desktop, you can't see it's out of view, but it's here, is the PDF you've just created. Click on that PDF, and there you go. That's what we created. There are your tick marks, showing us where to trim, your images, your text, etc. All you need to do now is create an order on Print Kiosk, place the order, upload the artwork, and we will process the order. Um, we thank you very much for the video, for watching the video. If you do require any more assistance, you can email us on sales at printkiosk.co.uk or give us a call on 01761 416 931. Thank you very much for watching. We look forward to working with you in the future.